Welcome to the channel. Learn English by Story. Today's story is Dharma Buddhi and Pap Buddhi. Dharma Buddhi and Kubuddhi were both known to me. Of them, Kubuddhi killed his father by suffocating him in smoke. In a town lived two friends by the names of Dharma Buddhi and Pap Buddhi. Once Pap Buddhi thought that since he himself was quite stupid and poor, if he could go with Dharma Buddhi to foreign lands, with his help make some money. And while returning sees Dharma Buddhi's earnings as well, then life would become very good. The next day, Pap Buddhi went to Dharma Buddhi and said, Friend, in your old age which acts of yours will you recall? Not been to foreign lands and seen new things. What stories will you narrate to your children? It is also said, that if on this earth one is not able to go to foreign lands, no new languages and cultures then the birth is futile. And also, acquisition of knowledge, wealth, sculptures etc. is not possible for a person unless he happily tours from place to place. On hearing Papudhi say thus, Dharma Buddhi embarked happily with him on the sojourn after the advice of teachers and after calculating the astrologically right time. Owing to Dharma Buddhi's persona, Pap Buddhi also acquired a lot of wealth. After collecting all their earnings, they were returning to their native place very happily. It is said that for a person who has acquired knowledge, Wealth and art and residing in a foreign place even one kosa of land is like a hundred yojanas. When they were nearing their village, Pap Buddhi told Dharma Buddhi thus, Dear, taking our entire wealth to the village may not be correct, because our kith and kin would ask for it. Hence, we should bury our wealth underground in the deep forest and carry only a small portion home. As and when we require it, we will come and dig up the wealth and take it to the village. It is said, that a wise man should not flaunt even small amount of wealth, because, on seeing wealth the minds of even great sages stumble. In addition, flesh and rich person meet people who want to devour them. Just like fish in water, lions and other wild animals on land, and birds in the sky are forever ready to eat flesh. There are people forever ready to devour a rich man. On hearing the above suggestion of Pap Buddhi, Dharma Buddhi said, Friend. All right. They then hid their wealth underground. And left for their respective homes and started living happily. One night, Pap Buddhi dug up the hidden wealth in the forest refilled the hole with mud and brought home the entire wealth. A few days later, he went to Dharma Buddhi and said, Friend, my family is very large. We are facing shortage of money. Let us go and bring home our wealth from the forest. Dharma Buddhi said, All right, let us do that. Thence both of them reached the spot and dug up the place but it was empty. On seeing it, Pap Buddhi beat his head and said, Oh, Dharma Buddhi, you have stolen the wealth. No other person could have done that. You have even refilled THS spot with fresh mud. Hence you better give me half of what you have taken from here or I shall complain to the king. Dharma Buddhi said, Wicked man, do not say thus. My name is Dharma Buddhi and I am not a thief. It is said that, Believers in dharma look upon others' women as mother, others' wealth as rubble, and look to all living beings as their own. Arguing thus, both reached the court, claiming and counter-claiming that the other was a thief. In order to reach the truth, the judges decided to invoke the divine justice. Immediately, Pap Buddhi said, This is not justice. It is said that, wise men have said that to settle disputes, tangible evidence is examined. In absence of tangible evidence, witnesses are examined and only in the absence of witness does the court resort to divine justice. In this matter, the three gods are my witnesses. Only they know who is thief and who is honest. 
The judges said, agreed. Also said as, in such cases even if a witness from low caste is available then divine justice is not required. In this case we even have gods as witness. We are also very curious about this matter. Tomorrow morning we shall, along with you, go to the forest and ask the gods. On returning from the court, Pap Buddhi told his father, Father, I have stolen the wealth that belonged to Dharma Buddhi. If you just say something, then it can remain with us. Or else we may lose our wealth and also our lives. The father said, Son, tell me quickly what I am to say so that the wealth remains with us forever. As per Pap Buddhi's plan, the father sat inside the hollow of the Shami tree. In the morning after his bath, Pap Buddhi along with Dharma Buddhi and the judges, reached the spot in the forest. Under the Shami tree Pap Buddhi loudly called out, He knows the sun, moon, wind, fire, space, earth, water, heart, death, day, night and bears witness to the two twilights and justice. And all actions of men. O tree God, truthfully tell, who, between us is a thief. On hearing Pap Buddhi, his father called out from the hollow of the tree, Listen, listen. Dharma Buddhi has stolen the wealth. Hearing this, all the judges were stupefied and looked at Dharma Buddhi and were parleying among themselves to give him appropriate punishment. Meanwhile, Dharma Buddhi collected inflammable material and pushed it inside the hollow of the tree and lit it. When the hollow of the tree started burning, Pap Buddhi's father screamed in great agony and came out from there with half-burnt body and burnt eyes. The judges asked, How have you reached this stage? Who are you? On being asked, he narrated the details and then died. The judges then hanged Pap Buddhi to the same Shami tree and expressed their appreciation of Dharma Buddhi thus, someone has rightly said. A clever person should plan for success as well as failure of a project. If you like the video then please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.